Ah, hello. We're back again, and today, sorting onions. And what I'm doing is, I'm going to sow some into uh, into compost in the greenhouse. It's a terrible day today, so all I'm doing is sorting onions, and I'm going to start them off. <coughs> excuse me, in compost. Uh, get a little bit of a head start. Um, it's not essential you do this, but I do find that. Um, over the past few years, people on my allotment, and I can only speak to people who are on my site really, and from what I see on YouTube obviously, but um, those who start them this way, if the uh, onion fly comes along, they've already got a, a better root system, and usually uh, they usually handle it better. <coughs> Same with the, uh, last year we had the bit of the old... Um, Leaf miner, I think all the all the shoots grew up twisted. I'm not bothered with that one. When the when the shoots came up, they were um, after a month or so, they all became twisted. And um, mine, some of mine did the same, but because I started them like I'm going to show you, uh, they handled it better. And uh, unlike some people who either pulled them up or lost 75% um, of them. I probably lost 10% of mine and uh, the rest recovered and carried on so uh, I'll just have a quick sort through these all I'm feeling for is obviously I'm not going to plant that one it's already got its shoot on it it's gone soft a bit uh, anything that looks like it might have a bit of disease on it I'm not going to plant that so I'm just feeling through them now and uh, when I've done that I'll show you how to uh, how I me uh, container out for planting them. Right, so I've sorted through them, and all I've done is I've got a uh, an old mushroom box. We get these off at market, catch them, ask them, they'll give them you. And I've lined it with paper. You can see, uh, this is where I sorted my onions out, so they still that box. I'll not hurt anything. There's nothing in there. It's only a few onion skins. So I've got old paper. And then put some compost in it, top it up with compost, and then all I do is start uh, adding the onions. And I mean, I just do them a couple of inches apart, to be fair. And uh, I like to plant the small ones. Um, over the years, I notice that you seem to, uh, they seem to produce the biggest onions. So, uh, I crack on like this, and all I do is go fill the tray. Uh, I'm not going to do too many onions this year. I mean, uh, over the years I've uh, tend to do too many, I think. And uh, after coming across um, the shallots. The Zaboom shallots, and I've done them for the past few years. Uh, I, I, well, we think we prefer the taste of the shallot, and uh, I've got to admit they do store a lot better than the onions. I mean, I'll show you in a minute. I've still got quite a few of them shallots left from last year, so I just go along like this. It's difficult because I'm using my left hand. Can't see through the screen if I hold the camera in my other hand, and. Uh, my tripod, I'm not sure where I put it, I've, uh, I usually keep it in my car, but I've, my car died uh, last week, so uh, I had to empty it, scrapped it, and uh, got me sent a, a new car, so uh, the tripod is somewhere lurking about in the house, but I'm not sure where it is, so if you bear with me, I'm just going to try and finish this uh, this tray off and then uh, I'll show you and all I'll do after this is I'll just water it I mean it's persistently raining so I might just stick them outside with garlic so there we go so that's one tray some people use modules some people use loo rolls but um, back when I first got my first allotment the old chap uh, we used to garden here, well he was um, chairman at the time, Dave, 
he um, he showed me how to do it this way and I've done it this way ever since and he always starts this like this so uh, let me show you what me uh, garlic outside he's just having a good old water he's doing well me uh, bay's looking fantastic I've kept it in here over the winter I've got some oregano down there that needs splitting the rest are just plants for outside so uh, I started my potatoes I've done a bucket and I was going to do another bucket and show you how I do them but the weather's turned and it started to rain but hopefully uh, I'm going to get it half an hour and I'll uh, I'll see if I can get get some compost out of my compost bins. My compost bins, I'm using them, them over there. I'm just emptying that one. That one's a fresh one, I've not started it yet, but that one's full. So I'll take some compost out of there. I'm using my own compost again. So I've started my potatoes. Charlotte, I've done, uh, I've put four in a big pot. Some garlic there, I forgot that, put it outside. So I'll crack on, I'm going to plant this one up and then rest the onions. I'm going to get the uh, mate at work because he wants to try some. He's bought some seed, bless him. He says, I've got my onion seed. We don't realise that uh, time's passed really for, for onions. You have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so I have to lubricate it. <sighs> Saturday afternoon, uh, Sunday afternoon, I'm watching it match. 1st of March by the way so I'm going to fill this other one up and uh, I'll show you me um, shallots as well alright so that's both trays done so these are just your mushroom compost um, trays and I've lined them with newspaper I've put my compost in I've not had anything else like grow more or anything that'll be all added to the the bit of the plot and they're going to be grown in so this is just to get a root system that will give them an advantage in the early stages of uh, the season. So I'll just nip into the shed and show you me uh, shallots that I've got there. Alright we're in the shed, uh, that's the pot of potatoes I've started, 30 litres, uh, my own compost and I've just added a bit of blood fish and bone and uh, Better grow more. Uh, no fancy in that one. They're only second early, so uh, well, I've put four potatoes in uh, and staggered them. So I've got two at the bottom and two halfway up. So uh, we'll see how we do with them. Still got potatoes left from uh, last year. Oh. Um, that's still sarpos, I think. Let me get my hand in. Well, they're keeping really well aren't they? I don't think they're sarpos actually, I think they're the... Uh, well, no, they're not sarpos. They've still got the thing on that connects it to the, the tuber to the plant. They're uh, Maris Piper. The sarpos are in this one. Yeah, yeah they're sarpos. Look. look at that beauty. And they're, they're fantastic potato, I mean First year I've ever tried them and they were recommended to me by Dan and uh, he's not usually wrong and I've followed a few of his recommendations such as the pots, the potatoes and the shallots I'm going to show you and to be honest I can't fault him, can't fault him at all. So that's Dan on the allotment diary, he's been at it for years, he's been making videos for I don't know, five years or so doing uh, I've been watching him for about that long anyway. It must be longer actually. So, uh, congratulations on your 10,000 viewers, pal. Excellent stuff. So, uh, I'm going to show you my shallots. I've got a few squashes left. That's a spaghetti squash. Uh, I think that one's at its best. It's uh, gone past its best. There's just an outhouse, is me. Two freezers that I keep all uh, the stuff we grow in full of tools and stuff but it's just somewhere I can store yeah so here my shallots from last year you can't fault them can you I mean that's one shallot how big's that 
I ain't got my scales on me, but it's a good two and a half, three, maybe four ounces. Proper handful. Alright, so yeah, I can't knock them. And I've, I've uh, the red ones I did last year, I've got to say, they were really tasty, but they didn't keep at all. Come middle of December they were shooting already but these uh, Zebrun ones these have kept fantastic the red ones were Florence I think but uh, they were fantastic I'd grow them again and, and grow and keep eating them as uh, young young onions such as like uh, spring onions and then or eat them fresh but they don't store the the long Florence ones but these Zebrun ones are absolutely fantastic. I mean, I started 150 seeds. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I've got 16 shallots left, which for this time of year, I mean, it's March. That's good. And I've I've actually got three packets this year, and I've started them all already. I sewn them uh, uh, 20 28th yesterday. I sowed my uh, shallot seeds. So. I can't can't grumble about them. Then I've got a couple of these winter squashes left. Fantastic things. So that's it then. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get some potatoes, uh, get some compost out of my compost bins for my potatoes. And if I do, uh, I'll add to this video. So and if not, I'll uh, I'll get back to you and, and uh, tell you not. So adios for a moment. Right, so I've braved it. And I've got some compost, it's just regular garden compost. Uh, uh, as near as damn it is 50 50 browns, 50 and uh, browns and greens. It's probably more greens than browns, but it's only uh, regular stuff that you put in. I've not done anything special apart from took some of my worm compost in. Now that's here, I mean, I've got some here, as you can see, there's loads of worms in there. Well, I'm just going to add that. If you're trying to bear in mind that I've got an old camera with me left hand and I'm right handed, so I'm just going to add a bit of this to the uh, to the mix, as it were. A few worms in there, no hurt them. So, what am I sewing in these? These are going to be estimates and uh, I actually realised I was short of them so I went to our local um, let's say bargain discount shop uh, the big one in, in our town is called Pound Stretcher went in there got 10 seed potatoes for £1.49 I went to the garden centre and I said I only want four estimer and she says whether you have a four or a bag full, it's still two ninety nine. So I've got ten for one pound fifty. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one there. Oh, I forgot what I would right, no. First I'm going to add some uh, fertilizers. So what have I got here? Got some grow more, regular garden grow more. Showed you that in my other uh, in, a, in a previous video. So, and I add this all the way through Belmore and uh, some blood fish and bone which is, as it says on the label dried blood dried fish and dried bone and I just put a good couple of handfuls of that in and then give it a little mix up and make it a cell now I'm going to add my potatoes. Believe it or not, I filmed me doing the first pot that I've just shown you yesterday. And uh, didn't switch the camera on. So we're going again. So, yep, yeah, right, well, shoes facing up. There we go. Loads of little wrigglers in there. They'll be fine. Uh, and then I'm going to cover it again, some more compost, 
I'll do that. Uh, I'll need both hands, so I'll get back. So that's another layering, and I put two potatoes the opposite way this time. Uh, as instructed, I was watching a video the other day. I'm going to have to. I'll have to give him a shout out because uh, um, I was going to do it this way, but he beat me to it. So uh, Paul from Cats Cats, he did it this way uh, with the potatoes the opposite. I mean, before I don't think I paid any mind when I did it this before, but I've never put four in the bucket. I've always put two or what or three. So I've done it four because, as he rightly pointed out, and Dad did. Dan did. Uh, you only get potatoes growing, especially second earlies and first earlies. You only get them in first eight inches at uh, your pot, so it makes sense to uh, not waste compost in this way. So just cover them up now, and I'll go to the top with this compost. Add a bit a uh, bit more worm compost and. Uh, some grow more and that'll be it right so that's that done that's uh, four estimate on the 1st of March and four uh, Charlotte on the 28th of February so I'll just uh, so it's out my compost over there doors open so you can see I've been shoveling it And it's a great way to grow potatoes. Saves a fortune. I mean, them compost bins, I got them from, uh, we entered a competition on uh, uh, our local uh, county council website. Uh, and we won one. So when they, put it, when they did the competition again the following month, we, we uh, answered the simple question again. And uh, we won another. So we got two of them. And that's why we use them. And if you've got if you've got pallets, they're even better because you get bigger amounts. But for a small guy, our garden is tiny. It's plenty. It's plenty. It's plenty. So uh, uh, that's so that's it for now. Uh, if you have a look at wormery and see how we're going with that. Don't think there's any worm tea. I used it yesterday. Oh, there's a little bit. A little bit of worm tea. We'll give that a drink. We'll not do any harm. Uh, I think the next one down there's loads of activity and you can see worms go all that stuff's ready so if that's ready all underneath is going to be ready so that's a full uh, wormery of uh, compost excuse me from over the winter because I've just I emptied that that's what we're in that that pot and if you're wondering why I've covered it with newspapers, just because I've been keeping that moist, although it's dry at the moment. Just keep sun out because it's in greenhouse. That's going to go in my compost heap as soon as I get a chance. And that's ready by the looks of it. So, uh, on that note, I'm going to bid you goodbye. I'm going to get in after this rain, put my feet up and watch the rest of the cup final. And uh, they're both London teams, so it doesn't matter to me who wins. <laughs> Anyway, adios guys, take care, any questions remember in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and uh, don't forget, tell your friends, have a good one, behave, look after each other.